I think things like Burning Man are really important. The only thing that's really going to save us are the arts, is that intuitive ability, that, that um, what, the, the, that associational wisdom, putting one thing with something else that's never been put together, juxtaposing them in some way that they've never been juxtaposed before, not because it makes some sort of algorithmic sense, because it's logical, but because it feels right, because it really is, it's moving. Um, I mean, my feeling is that if, if uh, in the arts, uh, if it doesn't make you want to fight, fuck, or philosophize, it's not very good. And those that are the wisest folk now are not just those that are the technocrats, but those that can comprehend a much more, a much fuller sense of being, what it is, what it is to be, what it is to be as, a, as an individual, and what is it to be a, as a human being caring about other beings. I ask a lot of people, if you didn't have to work, what would you do? And the kind of distressing thing is most people have never thought about this in their life. So they spent 40 years on this planet, possibly half of their existence, and they never asked themselves what they would really want to do if they didn't have any restrictions. I think that kind of shows the inability of this current system. Burning Man features a gift economy based on generosity. There is no money and no advertising. Things are given without an explicit agreement for immediate or future rewards. For first timers, a new experience. Just like the sandstorms, the heat during the day, and the cold during the night. Up until now, your survival depending on your income and your income could only um, come from your ability to perform work or to justify your inability to perform work, such as unemployment or you are disabled or elderly or things like that. Given the technological capabilities that we have now, and um, we could very effectively decouple the two things and give people essentially money or whatever medium of exchange um, people need to support their lives without having to work. And that would actually free them for uh, something more meaningful, more creative. It is that transition between party, genuine, touching art pieces, and events that makes the festival so unique. I brought a lot of signs. I, I, I call them the signs of the time. Uh, 
to Burning Man, this country has become so divided between the very, very wealthy and the very, very poor. That disparity is, 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 is almost obscene. In fact, it is obscene. These are signs that I've collected in San Francisco. I'll pay the person five, 10, 15, 20 dollars for a sign. And not because, you know, I, I think it's, it's, um, it's going to particularly help that person, but to preserve it almost as a small visual poem for others to be able to see, I think is important. In addition to many fun camps, there are also the real future makers camps, where young entrepreneurs think and discuss new ideas to change the world. Go on shuffleboard dates and dance to My goal and my passion is really to have um, free knowledge and free education for all in the world. We started a company called Konos, an e-learning platform. Uh, the idea is to have educational content creators who have already created content. We tell them, okay, so how about this? Instead of releasing your content on YouTube and just kind of have randomly the videos there, um, you could come to Konos, you sync your YouTube account, you immediately have all of your videos and you can select them and sort them uh, very easily. And in a couple of minutes, you can create one or more video courses and even add additional material and tests and other things. So it turns out that when you engage with your audience and you let people voluntarily support you, people will give you 10 to 100 times more money than what YouTube gives you through its ad network. And so this way you are ensuring that the content is free and open to all, so those who can't afford it can still access it, and those who can afford it can support their favorite creators. We are finalists in several competitions around the world and we won a $40,000 prize just yesterday. Uh, I work on a project called Free Space, and essentially we get buildings in urban environments for a dollar a month and gift them to, com to the community. We let them have full agency over what happens in there, to prototype their own governance structure, to use it for events, to decorate it, to work on projects. There are situations where buildings are in transition between tenants. They're about to do a remodel, but they don't know what that is yet, and there's ways to uh, have access to them. Uh, now we have opened nine different locations around the world. Two in San Francisco, one in Paris, one in Detroit, one in Brooklyn, uh, one in the Philippines, one in Uganda, and one in Kenya. And that's all been since June of 2013. Burning Man, utopia of a better world in a hundred years? We know it's a dream that lasts seven days and then goes away. Well, I think anything new needs to have a beginning. Will we create a society where we don't need to have the disparity uh, that we have? It could be a pretty wonderful place.